What is academic freedom? Academic freedom is the freedom to pursue the truth through open inquiry, exploration, and experimentation. The philosopher Russell Kirk described academic freedom as transcendent and permanent, or as a natural right. If scholars and students are to discover the truth, they need to be able to investigate freely wherever the evidence and logic lead them. The climate on many college campuses has grown more hostile to differing viewpoints. It's especially important now to protect academic freedom, so that scholars who investigate hot-button subjects are not punished for doing so. Unfortunately, in some cases, academics can lose their jobs or never even get hired because of their personal beliefs or because their research deals with controversial and unpopular topics. Initially, tenure was created to protect academic freedom, but today there is a large body of legal precedents that protect academic freedom just as well, if not even more. Academic freedom isn't just for professors. The intellectual freedom of everyone on campus should be protected. That includes students, administrators, trustees, alumni, and, in the case of public universities, taxpayers. The purpose of academic freedom is to preserve the spirit of inquiry. University professors do not solely possess the truth. Academic freedom is not, and should not be, limitless. It comes with obligations as well as rights. Professors do not have the right to teach whatever they want to their students. When a professor teaches his own opinions as facts, he violates the academic freedom of students who have a right to be taught knowledge, not personal theories. There is also an important distinction between academic freedom and free speech. For one thing, free speech is a legal matter. As stated in the First Amendment, the government shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech. A professor is free to shout from a street corner that the moon is made of green cheese and not face legal sanction. But academic freedom is a matter of employment. A professor does not have a constitutional right to say anything he wants in the classroom. As an employee of the university, the professor is bound by its rules, norms, and standards of academic integrity. Outside of the classroom, professors can mostly say whatever they want. Even engaging in terrible ideas like Holocaust denial shouldn't automatically disqualify a professor from teaching a course on, say, mathematics. Of course, there are exceptions. If the Holocaust denier were to suggest that genocide is a good idea, it would be fair for the university to not hire him at all regardless of where he said it. Sometimes it's difficult to strike the right balance between a professor's right to free inquiry and his duties as an instructor. One way to establish that balance is to have different standards for research and teaching. In their research, scientists and scholars need freedom to explore wherever the facts take them. Freedom is necessary in order to uncover new knowledge and challenge existing theories. But classroom teaching doesn't need nearly as much freedom, since the focus should be on current knowledge and methodology. In other words, a professor can investigate the contents of the moon, which might include green cheese, without teaching his hypothesis as if it were a fact in his Monday morning astronomy class. You can learn more about academic freedom in the Martin Center's report academic freedom in the age of political correctness, and by visiting our website, www.jamesgmartin.center. Thanks for watching.